guys what's up welcome back to the channel if you are new here welcome hey girl so today we're going to be doing these knotless braids that i have in right here right now a really quick like um style just like to keep in for like a week or two but this is very much so beginner friendly no feed in no rubber band like super quick um super simple it took me about like three and a half hours it could take you three though like if you don't like lollygagging you get straight down to business but let's get into it <laughs> Okay, so starting off, what you'll need is some Kanekalon hair or your hair choice. You know, I like Kanekalon hair. Um, I got like uh, three different colors. I got color two that makes like brown, blondish color, and I got color four. Um, and I got some curling rods that I didn't end up using, crochet needle, scissors. Now let's get down to business. You're going to need like some sort of gel and edge control too. Um, so I already started the rest of the sections, but I'm literally just taking this little small portion to show you so i part it and one side is going to be two and the other side is going to be two so now let me tell you about this brush first and foremost this is the like magical brush for kinky hair like it is so good and it's not sponsored or anything but i'll leave the link down in the description box because you need that brush um but yeah i'm detangling and now i'm going to add some edge booster gel i don't really like this but it's really all i had um, so I'm just going to put that around the perimeter to help like smooth it out because although I don't like neat styles, this is kind of like necessary. Then I'm going to take um, some edge control and put that around the perimeter to extra smooth it out um, because it just helps with like keeping the hairs down since we're going to be crocheting hair in, um, you know. So yeah, and I'm using a different like edge brush because the other one wasn't firm enough. So now we're going to part that into two. You can do however, like, however you want as far as parting go. I wanted boxes, so that's what I did. And now we're going to do a braid. You know, your girl is good for doing a braid within a braid. It just, my hair is kinky, so it doesn't really blend well with, like, a lot of different, like, um, hair textures. So doing a braid within a braid just really helps me out personally. And I feel like you could keep the same width of braid doing this method. It's really easy it's quick it's foolproof so you know it just works but yeah so i'm just braiding my hair down and then i'm going to braid the other one um really quickly too just to kind of like get it out the way um but yeah i'm trying to like keep it nice and smooth like y'all know i don't really like neat styles but for like this knotless braid situation the parts kind of have to be neat um so that's just what i'm trying to like get it nice and sleek and stuff as sleek as it could get um but yeah then i'm gonna braid that all the way down to the end and i already washed and conditioned my hair and all of that stuff too so yeah now moving on we're gonna take some brown hair and mix it with the like blondish so that way like you can't really see my hair if that makes sense because it's like it looked like the weave even if it is poking out a little bit the weave is there to kind of like disguise it so we're going to crochet that in going across which is horizontal right i think so um we're going to crochet that in across which is horizontal and then we're going to take just the blonde hair you could do whatever color mix you want but i'm taking a blonde hair and then i'm gonna crochet that going up and down which is vertical right i think so um so once we have that crocheted in vertically i believe that's the correct you know i'll be mixing them up but i think it's vertically then we're going to take the two sides that we crocheted in horizontally and pull them together and make that one so now we have three pieces and making sure to like keep your braid tucked as much as you can and as you braid in make sure that you are covering up the braid if it does start to peek out a little bit um and just try as you're braiding to keep the braid tucked pulling the hair over it to cover it up if it peeks out of like you know the little sandwich that we put it in try to like tuck it back so just watching out for that as you are braiding 
this time around i didn't really like care too too much if my braid poked out because i knew that the sections that i had were way bigger this time around and i used probably the same amount of hair at like you know compared to when i did this style the first time so um i knew that my braid was going to kind of peek through a little bit but i didn't really mind um that was the purpose of me using like the dark brown mixed in with the blonde so yeah i'm just going to literally braid that all the way down and like i said earlier the reason why i really like this method is because for me personally i like the way it looks to have the braid like have the same width from the top to the bottom um it just looks nice whereas like if you're doing like feed in it starts off smaller and then gets bigger as it goes down but for me i just kind of like the way this looks better so we are just gonna continue braiding that down up down over under up down over under um all the way to the bottom and i did leave a little bit of hair like unbraided so i could kind of crimp and curl the ends because that's what i ended up doing it was kind of like a mix of a crimp and a curl <laughs> but um yeah i am about to now um braid the braids and i ended up not using the black um perm rods that i showed you in the beginning because they were just a little too big and the ones that i had the blue ones were too small that's why i was like let me try to get a different size but that was really the only size that they had um so i ended up just putting like two braids per perm rod like the small blue ones that i'm going to use that you'll see in the next clip i wrapped both like two of the big braids onto that so it would kind of make it seem like a bigger curl So now it's time to wrap, which is kind of like, you know, just pretty self-explanatory. I did, like I said, a few, like a couple of braids on one ride so it wouldn't make the curl too small. Because um, as, as you can see, those uh, perm rods are pretty small. But yeah, then I'm going to dip them in the hot water, um, which I let, like after I dipped them, I did leave the rods in overnight. Just be, well, not overnight because it was already <laughs> the next day. But I went to sleep for about like four hours and I left them in. So after drying the braids off as much as I could, I took it down for a couple of hours and that was that. Okay, so this is what we working with. Like here are the ends. It's kind of like a mix between like a crimp and a curl because I did kind of like crimp them and curl them. So like it's a crimp and a curl. And this one, the part that was curled, I cut it off. <laughs> so it's just looking a little janky, but I really don't mind. Like, you know, I'm not really for like the super perfect looking styles, but like, you know, it is what it is. So yeah, this is what we have. I feel like the color makes it look like there's a knot, but it's not. <laughs> um, but yeah, the, I have exactly 19 braids and I used exactly six packs of hair. Um, because like I really didn't wanted the braid to be like way skinnier than like the part itself because I wanted them to kind of be able to lay nice and flat. That's what I wanted. I wanted them to like lay flat and fall flat and not be like too many braids on my head, especially because like I really only plan to keep this in for like a week or two. I mean, because you know, I have like other content that I got to film, but I just wanted like a break from the wigs. Um, so yeah, I'll be keeping these in for like a week or two, probably two weeks. So truth be told, I didn't really care too much like how they came out if they was like super neat. Like the last time that I did this, I really took my time. I wanted it to be like on point. This time around, I was like, listen, a braid is a braid is a braid is a braid. Just get braided. But 
I am going to go. Um, give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Drop that in the comments and let me know what you thought. Or just show some love, all of that stuff. Subscribe if you're not yet subscribed. You already know, like, the jewelry and stuff is from the Lux Collection. So be sure to check that out. Links are always in the description box as well. And yeah, enjoy the rest of your week, your weekend, whatever it may be. Peace and blessings.